Hey everyone, welcome to the 14th episode of our Java game development tutorial series. Um, today what we're going to do is I'm going to try and make it so that we can detect key taps um, as opposed to just key presses. Uh, you know, that key being pressed down and held down. Uh, we're going to see if we can detect on key down sort of events. I mean, they've got a function for that in, in the Unity game engine. Uh, it's called on, uh, I want to say it's uh, input dot get key down, if I remember right, and it was uh, where it'll detect that you've pressed the key down that that particular update cycle. So it you know prevents problems like bunny hopping and things like that. Uh, plus, if you want an event to only fire once you press the key down and never again, we need to find a way to do that. Um, so what this is going to do is my input class. I don't know if this is the most efficient way to do this, but this is the way that I do it, and it seems to work out pretty well. What we have here is we've got... Um, a boolean array that is our current keys that are being pressed what we want to do is we want to create another one that is let's call it last keys it's the keys that were being pressed the last frame how do you tell that a key has just now been pressed uh well if it wasn't being pressed last frame and it is being pressed this frame then that's what how you can tell so our current keys you know we set our current keys thing here and everything i'm going to create a static function public static void um, clean up. That's what I'll call it. Um, or let's just say finish input. That's a bit more descriptive. What we want to do is we want to say um, last keys uh, equals I want to. I really am not exactly sure how I did this before. Current keys. Dot clone. I think it is. So that last keys is now, um, whatever our current keys are. So if we weren't pressing a key this frame, last keys is going to remember that. And now if we created a function, public static boolean get key down to tell whether we're currently pressing a key and int key code just like up here we want to say return uh, current keys uh, key code and current uh, sorry last keys key code actually what this one's supposed to be is not last keys key code so this will return true if we're currently pressing the key and uh, we are we were not pressing the key on the last frame okay then at the end of our update cycle we'll say last keys equals current keys so we can detect if the key was down like that and in fact we could even detect if the key was let up by uh, let's create a method on key up if we're not pressing the key right now, but we were pressing the key last frame. So if not current keys, key code, and last keys, key code. Now that should work. Well, well we need to make one uh, change to our game loop here. Here in the renderer, after we've done, uh, let's say, let's, let's render stuff, let's create an update stuff. I should probably rework this game loop at some point um, because you shouldn't mix your rendering and game logic. I do it right for right now um, because it's probably pretty easy to change later on if I remember right. Uh, but first we'll do you know world.update and then we'll say um, input.finish input at the end of every frame. And now let's see if it worked. We'll go into the player uh, and change this from get key key event dot vk up to get key down key event dot vk up so let's see if that works we're touching the ground i press the key we jump up i hold the key down and it does not register that that's still happening so now i can press it and if i hold it down we still don't jump i have to stop and press it again so that's what we want for that seems to work um, and the reason why we had to add something to our loop to handle this, we couldn't just, you know, it's because we had to make sure that uh, this um, finish input thing is called because it is it is completely crucial. Uh, it doesn't work without it. Um, 
so yeah, that's uh, an improved version of our input. Um, so if you like this episode, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.